Hey, I'm back again and let's talk about what's up in Japan for April 2016. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about, I, I was shocked by this. I don't know if this old man has some kind of magic powers, like he's Master Roshi or Haposai or something, but I saw this and it's just an old man walking down the, I can't even say street, he's walking down the pipe. So he's walking over this river on a pipe. I don't know what this is. Either this guy, like I said, he has magic powers or he's just the Japanese Mr. Magoo. But if this is your grandfather, please help this man. I, he has a cane, but I, I can't understand it. Like if you can walk across that pipe, do you really need the cane? Who knows? In happier news, this month they just started the uh, International Manga Competition. And so in this competition, you uh, are supposed to write a manga, an original manga. It can be an unpublished manga by an amateur artist, but I think it's also open to uh, professionals. So if you have a published manga that you want to present, you can also do that. So send that in. The winner gets a prize, I believe. I think the first prize, you get some sort of money and uh, the first and maybe next four people get flown into Japan and you get to consult with other manga artists in Japan uh, you get like a tour around uh, different places different manga studios and things if you're an artist out there enter and win I thought this was really good I can't draw myself but if you can make sure you enter the next one is a little bit depressing Recently they did a survey of different people who are of working age and they asked them Have you ever gone into the bathroom, locked the door, and cried during your working hours? I thought this was kind of a strange question, but actually 25% of people in Japan said yes, I've done that before. I was really shocked about this. I didn't realize this was such a common thing, but Japan is a really high-stress society, so I guess this is happening often. The most common reasons were either the boss was yelling and being unreasonable, or the person themselves just made a mistake and they felt so bad they had to go in the bathroom and cry. And so, <laughs> this is kind of bad, I mean, I don't know, but for me at least, Lots of people need to chill out with work. Calm down, it's not that serious. Well, maybe if you're a doctor or something it is, but if you're working in an office, it's not that serious. Everybody makes mistakes, so don't be so hard on yourself that you have to go in the bathroom and cry. And if you're a boss and somebody makes a mistake, unless they're costing your company, you know, millions of dollars, don't be so hard on them. Besides, one of the people was like a 40-year-old man and he said that he made a mistake and he went in the bathroom and cried. To be honest, a 40-year-old man going in the bathroom and crying is not a good look. So, like I said, relax, chill out, don't let the stress get to you. Speaking of letting stress get to you, there is a woman in Tokyo, a rather young woman, I think 24 or 28 or something? And she worked as a caregiver in a nursery, so she's watching kids for daycare. But she was arrested recently, and now she's facing uh, one year in jail and was a three-year suspended sentence. Let me ask her, why is she facing that? Well, apparently, she decided to force a child there to eat a piece of chicken covered in wasabi. And so, usually think, ah, oh, it's not so bad, but then, if you've ever had wasabi, you know how much it hurts. And I know you're thinking, like, oh, you know, this kid's like 12 or 13 or something, he should be okay. And I think the kid was 4 years old, so it's like, forcing a 4 year old to eat something completely covered in wasabi. And also, she said, if you spit it out, I'm going to hit you. I thought this was rather ridiculous, but I thought maybe one year is a bit too much, although you really shouldn't be doing that to kids, it's kind of child abuse. But later I found out that a few months before this, she had another child that was six years old, and she bound his hands together, put tape over his mouth, and then ripped the tape off as fast as she could. All of this apparently happened for no reason. She said the reason she gave was because she had lots of stress and she was working really hard. 
I don't know if working really hard is an excuse for abusing children, but she thought it was, Judge didn't think it was, and now she's facing jail time, so there you go. In lighter news, I saw recently at a university, they started a manga course. Actually, it's not only on manga, it's manga, anime, etc. And so at first I thought, this is kind of a waste of time, you know, to do this. It's kind of a blow-off course. But then when I started looking at the syllabus and looking at all the contents, I found, actually, this is kind of a difficult course. And so basically, in this course, you discuss and you learn about different forms of media from manga to anime to video games, etc. And I thought, you know, ah, it's going to be easy, but apparently you have to watch something like 20 hours or 40 hours of anime a week. And so it seems actually pretty hard, there's lots of things you have to write. So I was kind of shocked. And that kind of made me change my mind. At first I thought, ah, you shouldn't have this, but now I realize, I, this is a good idea. I, I think it's good. Especially because now manga and anime are such a big export for Japan. I mean, when you think of Japan, or when most people outside of Japan think of Japan, obviously they have like the you know, big uh, historical popular things like samurai and sushi. But contemporary things, I think probably manga, anime, video games are some of their most popular and well-known and well-loved exports. So I think people knowing more about them is a good thing. I have to say, I changed my mind on this. This is a good idea. Um, I'll leave the name of the university at the bottom because I forgot what it is, but they're doing a good job. The next one is about someone who was not doing such a good job. In fact, this woman doesn't have a job. And the reason this is, is she worked at a company about two years ago and she claimed her boss was harassing her. They call this power harassment in Japan. It's not sexual harassment, but it's when basically somebody has power over you and they're yelling and making you do things that are unreasonable. So I don't know if this was happening or not, but this woman thought this was happening to her so, she decided to go to a lawyer. The lawyer investigated and told her, I'm sorry we can't sue this company because we don't have enough evidence for this happening. Which I think is reasonable, I mean, unless there's something in email or something, how can anybody know? So the lawyer said, I'm sorry, we can't do anything. And so this woman, I don't know if she was fired or maybe she just quit her job herself. Now, two years later, instead of being angry at her boss or her former company, she thought, I'll be angry at this law firm that wouldn't take my case. She decided that she was going to call the law firm and do prank calls and tell people to die. And this is bad enough in itself, but you know, it's kind of a, a small thing. What wasn't small is the number of times she did this though. She did this 330 times in 9 days. On the one hand, she is unemployed, so I guess she has the free time. On the other hand, that's a ridiculous amount of time. Just, I don't even know how many times a day that is. It's like, it's more than once an hour. If you would have spent that time doing something else, you probably could have had a job. I, I don't know what this woman was thinking, but now she has been arrested for harassment and she's going to be in more trouble, so that was some stupid news uh, this month. And the last story, the last bit of stupid news for this month was a man who's 45 years old and also unemployed. I guess he was trying to get a girlfriend so he decided to use a smartphone app. I'm guessing it was Line but they don't really say in the article. He started talking to women and he started talking to one woman in particular and he kind of found a connection. Unfortunately, this woman was 15 years old. Most people would stop there. He didn't. And he started a relationship with this 15-year-old girl, and this went on for a few months. After being in this relationship, I guess then he thought, Wait, is it okay to date a 15-year-old? Usually you would have thought about this at the beginning. Actually, you would have just realized it at the beginning. But he thought, Maybe I should find out. Most people might, I don't know, look online through Google or look at laws or something. He decided to call the police and ask them, is it legal to date a 15-year-old girl? 
Of course the police said, uh, no it's not, uh, sir, you're 45 years old, found him and arrested him and they found he had some, uh, I think nude or semi-nude photos of this girl on his phone. And so now he's facing jail time. And uh, I almost can't believe how stupid this man was, but I'm glad they caught him. He, he shouldn't be around doing things like that. That's it for this month. Be sure to check out all the cards I have above. Vote. I hope I put some other ones back in other parts of the video. So if you didn't vote on those, go back and check that out. If you like the story, give me a like down below. And if you have any comments, leave those too. And I'll be back with uh, another one next month. And between then, I'll probably add another video too. Until next time, see you. If you enjoyed that video, subscribe. Also, feel free to comment down below and check out some of my other videos here. Or is it here?